Okay. Vote. Discuss a vote to approve fiscal year 2020 operating budget for the annual town meeting. Brian, how would you like to go about this? Um, because we had, s there were some approvals last time. And, um, yep. So I have that we voted to approve general government. Right. <coughs> Um, public works. General government is done. Insurance and benefits. So we, redu we reduced that and voted it. Unclassified in debt. So that leaves cultural recreation services, public health, public safety, schools, and the enterprise fund. Okay. Um, so it might be best just to use this top sheet as a guide. Yeah. Right. Um, but that's what we did last time. And um, so you, time. Have, you have new information for us? That's it right here. Yeah, yeah but on to some ver of these. To verbalize it. Yeah. Yep, so as we as we go through these, I'll chime in. Yeah, it the, the, so we are looking at Draft number one, year 2020, Town of Waitley Operating and Enterprise Fund Budgets, again, fiscal year 2020. Yep, date in the lower left-hand corner is 4-11-2019. Okay. Yep, everybody got that? Yeah. 4 11. Okay, so there we are. Here we are. Okay. Wow. So one change here. Since our last meeting, I received an email from um, the director of the South County Senior Center and informing us that the budget that they had presented to us didn't include the COLA. So they sent to us an amended budget, and that's the amount shown on the sheet. This, this sheet is the, the amended amount? Yeah. Um, any discussion around that? It was an increase of $215. Where is the oh, right here. That is the it's a new one that we just got. Fifth just one down. Yeah. Two. CRS five. Nineteen two oh eight. Yep. Correct. So we got 19208, okay, and um, that went up with the COLA, and that COLA was what? Uh, what was the dollar increase on that one? Um, $215 more than the previous budget that was provided. <laughs> if you put in the new sheet, though, that should be accurate. I think we gave the new sheets, right? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, yeah. we did. Right. Those sheets are updated. Um, With regard to the South County Senior Center, um, this is a discussion for the Finance Committee. Um, do you feel that there should be um, utilization by Waitley residents in order to support it? Absolutely. Absolutely, yeah. Okay. How do we know that? How do, how, how do we know that? You don't. We don't, so we don't. we don't. So how could we get that information? They would have to give it. Exactly. So I think that coming from the Waitley Finance Committee, either to our own select board or directly to this South group, County. Mm -hmm. South County, that we indicate that for the coming year, not 2020, <coughs> but for 21, we would need a census of, of utilization of some sort by Waitley residents. Waitley residents. And it's incumbent upon them to make that known to us. I think we need 
utilization of all residents so we have an idea of what percentage of residents 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 resid
The treasurer. For the treasurer? I don't know. Okay. Um, any other discussion, questions regarding this? It would just be helpful in the future if they would say why they added more hours as part of the narrative. Yeah. Yep. Instead of just saying we added hours for the treasurer, also say why they added hours for the treasurer. Budget at $75,432. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Now, um, is there anything new in public safety? Huh. Uh, while, we're, while we're there. I'm glad you asked. <laughs> okay. So, the f can you share that with us? Yes. Okay, Let's do the easy one first. So we amended the, the fire department sheet yes. to reflect okay. your vote to level fund general expenses. So for the police budget, there were two items that we all know were outstanding, um, unresolved. Um, and you had received, I think you had seen the, the, um, the letters for, for both of them. Mm -hmm. yeah. One was a request to for another full-time officer to be added to the budget, and the other one was a, um, a request for a salary increase um, from the police chief. So, the select board met on last, well, the select board met last Wednesday and discussed the, um, the full-time officer request and, and the reasons for that. Um, they did not grant that. Um, for the, um, they did not grant that request for the full-time officer, so that's not a recommendation um, from them. But they did um, have a request to the finance committee to increase the um, the overall budget for the part-time officers by an average of four hours per week, um, and that is intended to be used by the police department to cover. Um, to cover for times when the officer on duty, most often the police chief, is um, out of town, whether it be trainings or um, they gave the example of having to um, go and pick up the breathalyzer machine and drop it off for calibration in some eastern part of the town, um, or if he's busy doing investigative work, or um, the intent is that there would be coverage um, in the town so that when somebody calls um, for the police that it would come from it would come by one of the Waitley officers for the times that are currently staffed um, there was concerns about I think um, according to the chief he's, he's concerns about um, obviously response time is a concern <coughs> if there's nobody here in the state police are covering um, we don't know where they're coming from. Um, I think they respond, I think the Northampton Barracks covers Holyoke to Shelburne, I believe. Um, and there's three officers on duty. Um, there's three road officers on duty. So if somebody calls, you don't know where that officer is responding from, which would increase response time. Um, and then the other part is some concern about the I guess anecdotally about the quality of service that you would get mm -hmm. um, from a local police officer as opposed to a state police officer. Okay. So there was a request that the finance committee consider increasing that mm -hmm. um, line item by four thousand dollars. Okay. Want to consider that one first, or we want to talk about both of them together? Let's do that one first. While okay. We're still there. Okay, so four thousand dollars is going to be added to his budget, which gives which it's going to be under part-time officers. Correct. 
That was the that was the request from the select board to the finance committee. So it's going to go from forty, basically from forty five eight fifty seven to forty nine eight fifty seven. Or if they don't use it, then I don't know, know if they're using it. Or they need, or they need more than that. Well, they would. He wouldn't be. Well, he wouldn't be able to overspend his total budget no. without. Reserve fund transfer. Right. So if we don't approve it, he can't overspend it without a reserve fund transfer. He can't overspend his total budget without a reserve fund transfer. The way that that budgets are voted on in this town, as I understand it, they're not no, they're broken not out in salaries versus expenses. So I think what we've seen in some other budgets is some yeah. department heads who take liberties with creative. Creative. That's a good word. Yeah. Rational spending. Okay. So we have the police department budget. Um, so we're adding four grand to that. So that would be like one seventy two nine oh seven for salaries. Um, twenty twenty yeah 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 that's right. Um, that's right. Go down to the bottom of the page four. Oh, I'm like oh, oh right. Um, yeah, so the total is 203, 391. Is that, is that the new number, Brian? Or is it that going to change for the whole police? Well, we have the second thing to talk about. Okay. Go right in. What has happened? So we, um, the select board met with the police chief today um, to discuss his request for a salary increase of 3%. Um, and the police chief has, well, FY20 will be the last year remaining on his three-year employment agreement. So the board had, uh, the board voted to um, increase his salary for FY20 by 1%. Over the 1%, um, so that would be 660 six dollars and 46 cents and to amend his employment agreement amend the agreement to that number uh, amend the employment agreement to increase his fy 20 salary by one percent but he's also going to get a two and a half percent cola correct Is this a good time to have a COLA discussion or not? Or a salary discussion? Just a brief one. I can tell you've had a lot of discussions today. <laughs> you can do whatever you want. Yeah. Okay. Right. It's your meeting. You can do what you want. There you go. Um, here's, here's, here's the point. I'd, I'd like some, um, I'd like to know what you guys what people think about this. Um, we have these departments and then we have these departments. Um, it seems like the salary and coal is a, it's always, the discussion is so separate. Yes, it, it is. You know what I mean? Um, most other houses of employment businesses, you don't separate that out. You manage the you manage the budget. It's in your budget. I am. We're trying to do two things, and that's crazy. But you're talking, you know, being the finance committee representative on the personnel committee. I try to compare the town's personnel situation to what happens in. The rest of the world in the world that i live in the world that you used to live in the world that he lives in mm -hmm. and you cannot do that municipal employees are living in a world of their own and it's you can't compare what happens in the private sector to what happens in the municipal sector you can't do it I, I and, agree with and, and I, I bang my head against this brick wall several times and it, it just isn't going to work. 
and they really have to be separate discussions. And if the camera the, wasn't on, I'd have some other things to say. Okay. Because the COLA applies to all it does. employees. That's right. As, Whether opposed, you're, as opposed to an increase, there are only a handful of employees in the town right. that are even you, it's even up for discussion whether they get an individual. That's right. They automatically get a COLA, whether they deserve it, earn it, whatever you want to call it. Everybody gets it. Okay. And then if they feel they deserve more, then you get, you know, we make an adjustment. But, but, but there's still only a handful of employees right. that matter. can there's there's ask for that. That's most, right. Most employees are not in a position. The other thing, the other side of the coin is there are not a lot of employees, there aren't that many employees in town. So. True. True. Okay. Then I will... Um, we'll I don't think on. it should be eligible for both. I, I think that's a valid point. I would agree with that. Well, unless there's additional responsibility or something. Like with like that. Keith, that was additional responsibility. Yeah. Well, that's. Uh, so there's mixed feeling ab about it, and we'll just. I know. Amy, well, if you're negotiating Amy a contract, you should negotiate your call right into notes. that. Well, that's, if you're negotiating a contract to work, you should negotiate without a oh, right. cola. Oh, yeah, yeah. No question. One of my complaints or concerns about the police chief's salary adjustment is he has a contract. Which he negotiated a three-year contract which was reviewable every year. To the best of my knowledge, you know, he decided how much money he wanted or however it worked out. And now we're two years into a three-year contract, and he wants more money. And here's the other side of that. Is that right? That's a fair statement of the facts. Okay. And yet we have a select board that I I was not in the meeting, obviously, and there is nope. certainly um, I'm sure there was arguments on both sides. Um, but he does have a contract. He's supposed to honor the contract. When the contract's over, you then re we renegotiate. You renegotiate at that point. On front from the newly increased figure. Correct. Now. So now, we got, so, so now we've got a new figure to Right. When he starts negotiating from. after the end of this right. contract, it'll be off of the contract with the additional 1%. Right. So the call uh, up. The contract. Uh, just the finance committee, I, I mean, I don't want to speak for everybody. If you guys don't feel this way, you know, speak up. But I don't think it's fair to the town to renegotiate a contract that was committed to yeah. by both sides at another point in time. So the contract was not fulfilled from the, the employee. So that's and does the contract allow renegotiation? Really basis. Contract can be amended. Contract contract can be freely amended. Sure. I, I mean, anything can be negotiated, re okay. renegotiated. But so anyway, that's it wasn't that's, that it was set in stone, and then you know this is the contract, and there will be no negotiation. Right. And the reason this is important is because on town floor, if someone comes up, and we will in all likelihood recommend that this go through. Yeah. But if that question comes up. It's duly noted that the finance committee is uncomfortable with a renegotiation of a contract that was committed to. So, from the town side. Anyway, anything further? If you're going to negotiate like that, you should negotiate year to year. Yeah. yeah. It should be a yearly contract, not a three year contract. Right. Okay, so his police so, chief salary is going up six. So, what's the new number for the. <laughs> Which one you want to do first? His salary is going up to what? Six six four six. Uh, I can do it right. So if they're adding one percent onto the FY. 2019 salary, so that's six seven three one two forty six. 
2.5%. Oh, I thought the budget I'm looking at here had his 2.5% in it. It does. Okay. Um, so that would be... Oh, I see what you're doing. I get it. 68995. So for budget purpose, 68996. And so our total police department that we're voting on is what number? Um... Two oh seven five. Two oh four oh seven five. That's the uh, new budget. The new budget for the police. Okay. Um, any discussion beyond this? Any questions beyond this? S S Do I have <coughs> oh, just to clarify here. Yep. So what is it? What what we did is we we increased. 2009 salary by 1% first, and then we took the two and a half. Then you added the two and a half on top of that. Okay. Okay. If you, if you do it the other way around, I think that increases. What it shouldn't make a difference. It'll make a difference because of all. Because you're taking two and a half percent of a larger number, I think. Right. When you're multiplying, it shouldn't matter which order. Multiply. Okay. Are we good with that number? The number two oh four oh seven five. So that's about a three point eight percent increase Oops. instead of a one point three. how you decide if you need to take a ride or you need more hours. That just doesn't, I don't know how you decide that. That's a 3.76% increase for the department. Well, that was a kick. Mm -hmm. 1.38 is so look good. Yeah, so comfortable. With 3.76. Slackman have recommended it or whatever they well they have recommended it is doesn't the, mean we have to recommend no it does not but no the, the bulk of it is salary. salary it's all salary well yeah yeah but it's in the salary for the part-time it's for, for that part time yes right. and right. as much as saying that it's a policy decision is regarding coverage right yeah but I don't know how, how you know you need the coverage you're speculating you're making speculations. Yes. Indeed. Yes. Well, that's but their question back to us is, how do you know we don't? Okay. <laughs> you know, yeah. Well, if you needed the more coverage, why, why didn't the chief work five days a week instead of four? Because of his ironclad contract, so he only has to work four. Well, if he had an ironclad contract, he wouldn't have renegotiated that. Yeah. 
That's you, right. You just don't understand the ironclad. Ah, 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 We're getting you into this. Must be semantics. Yeah, there's ironclad, there's iron throne, yeah. there's yeah. all kinds of things. Right. All kinds of iron out there. Yeah. yeah. So uh, okay. All right, let's just vote on here. Yeah. Well we don't have it. we gotta wait for the final number. Oh, Is I, that it? Uh, we had 204 or 75, right? Yeah, that's the yeah. final number. Okay, do I have a motion? I make a motion to accept. Second. We, uh, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Police department budget has been passed to the number of 204,075. $75. That's uh, the new police budget number for an increase of 3.76. Okay. Done. <clears throat> Brian, you good? Going yeah. forward, right. can this Please. procedure change, this process change any? I mean, we, we don't know why that 1% increase was That was executive session. That was executive session. I, I know. Right. Is there any way this process can change? I mean, I, I feel very uncomfortable supporting 1% increase. Negotiated. To a negotiated contract. To a negotiated Iron contract. contract. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. He has a contract, and uh, you know, he's changing the rules of the game in the middle of the game here, or well, two thirds of the way through. So, um, that's a question for we have to ask the select board. There's nothing yeah. we can do about it here. Is that right? Because it was an executive session, so that means that's their billy really right. We can. They have a right to. They have obviously. The select board is the end game here in regards to employment. Right. Um, All right. For one percent. Move on. Yeah. Move on. Okay. All right. Um, public works. I think we need to vote on the the overall public safety. Um, with that. That's right. We didn't vote that last time. We were waiting for police. Wait for yeah, police. That's right. Okay. okay. No other changes in any other aspects of public safety. The other lines are pretty minor. And this reflects the level of funding of fire. Yes. Yep. <coughs> Motion on that. Move we accept the public safety budget as amended with the new police budget. Second it. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Done. Okay. So public health, public safety, public, public works. works. We have. Yeah, we did public works. That was done. Yeah. Yeah. All right. School, I think it brings us to schools, I think. Insurance and benefits yeah, are done. Yep, insurance and benefits are done. Unclassified is done. Um, we're done. Schools. Okay, so what do we got for schools, Brian? Well, you wanted me to inquire about the status of the contract negotiations. Right. And I did. Um, and they're not final yet, but we're going to have to move forward with what we have. What they had proposed. I, I had asked Darius if we file when there might be resolution on, on the two contracts and um, he said um, you gotta figure out what I can say or not say what's a hang it'll up? probably be a little while what's um, a hang up? I don't know exactly I'm not privy to the specifics of the negotiations I think they lost the lawyer for a while that was one of the issues oh uh, the wife had uh, twins complications that was the last I heard of that so the only change we're going moving forward is just with salaries that are negotiated already I don't know how you could have changes if you don't know what's going on okay. so they have I don't understand your question we're, we're moving forward and they have an increase but they don't know what the contract is they don't know exactly right they have a placeholder so there. I don't yeah so they put a dollar amount in but it's level of change what if it's twice that I asked Darius if he thought what they included in there was the uh, 
highest, not the highest amount, but <laughs> was it likely to increase was my question. And he said no. But if it were to increase, then <clears throat> for Waitley Elementary, I think it would be treated as another department of the town. Because I had the question about the subs, the sub money. Yeah. That's a good question. Um, but um, so right now, what's the last? When do you, when does the warrant absolutely have to be in stone? Well, they're planning on when does it have to be, or when are they planning on doing it? No, when does it have to be? Um, what's the final date? Seven days before. Seven uh, days before the meeting. The meeting's yeah. on the thirtieth. Yeah. Seven business days or calendar days? Calendar days. We'll go with that. Yeah. Is that convincing? Okay. <laughs> is that, that sounds like a legal mind at work there. It is. Um, it's seven calendar days. So, yeah, 23rd. so they're going to get you those numbers quickly then. I don't think we'll have those numbers before. Town meeting, no. Before. So okay. I okay, so recommend that we then vote and. You recommend we vote what they gave us. Yeah. And then we'll. <clears throat> See how it sh shapes out. Yeah, I don't think there's any other way to do it. <laughs> okay. Um, and I think that it'll be that way every three years. Five years? Three years? Three years. Put three the years. pressure on them and don't approve it. <laughs> well, here's the thing if we approve this number, it doesn't automatically mean we approve the next number right. that they bring up. That's another process. You can't just call a number in and have to <laughs> and change it. And change well, it. Keep the police dead. And if the number is less, does it come back to the town? No way. Do you ever see money come back to the town? For Frontier, so for Frontier, it would go to the E&D, um, Excess and Deficiency Account. <coughs> in the Waitley Elementary School, it, it would, in theory, if there's money left over, go back into free cash. I say in theory because there's never happened different accounts that they shuffle money that around. can be shuffled money can be shuffled through okay so you want to just go down these budgets one by one and um, take it from them Brian does that sound good yep and we've already voted Franklin Tech yeah right we, vote, we did in happily Smith Volk which there's right. no students attending, as far as we know. So right now on the table, subtotal Waitley Elementary School for 2020. The budget is $1,785,184. For dollar change of $103,925, with a percent change of 6.18. Do I have a recommendation for that budget? I make a motion we approve it. Second. All those in favor? Aye. We approve the Waitley Elementary School budget at $1,785,184. Okay. Frontier Regional. Subtotal Frontier Regional is $964,380. The increase is $40,146. For a 4.34 percent increase. Any discussions, questions, thoughts? I make a motion. We approve it. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Frontier Regional budget for Waitley stands at nine hundred sixty-four thousand three hundred eighty dollars. Uh, Franklin's done. Smith is done. is done. So schools are done. Are done. Are done. Okay. Um, Brian, the last one is would be the enterprise fund right. budget, which is the last one here. Um, is there anything we need to uh, discuss on that? I, I don't think so. It'll be a separate. It'll be a separate warrant article. Right. See on the town meeting warrant. Okay, I think we beat that quite a bit the last time. Yeah. Um, you want to make a motion we approve it? I do. I make a motion we approve the enterprise fund. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 
Okay. It might be interesting to watch that frontier budget and see what that EV, EV budget comes in. Yeah. Uh, and next year we voted 50,000 less. You might have to come back to us. Right. Right. Yeah, if we miss. Yeah. You know, I pick that number. But we're, we're giving them, well, we're not giving them, but they're counting on free cash. Yeah. You think? Oh, uh, I know. <laughs> So, um, I'd be interested to know what the hang-up is in a negotiation because they're usually done. Say, so, um, is, is there anything else for, for us to... Uh... There is. Okay. We have a warrant. We got a warrant? That'd be good. Is there anything on the capital that we're we need to, we were to touch? The, It'll, they uh, show up in the warrant if you yeah. want. Yeah, okay. <coughs> okay. okay. warrant. All right, let's do the warrant. Because if there's anything on that capital sheet that's not in the warrant, then I messed up, but we need to add it. Okay. Holy smokes. We're going to blow through this real quick. It'll go quick. A lot of it's nonsense. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Article 2, let me just start. Yep, start. go ahead. Article 2 authorized town treasurer with approval of the select board to borrow money from time to time in anticipation yeah. of revenue, fiscal year beginning July 1st, 2019. And the go rest ahead. of that. You want to do these all at once? Does any, do we have, have we had to do that? Yeah. Recently? Vision of revenue. Off the top of your head. Um. <clears throat> No, I'm just curious. No, I don't. I don't believe okay. so since I've I'm been just here. Curious. No. Okay. I hesitate because we've done four before. Right. We, we so, borrow right. grant. Um, grant money. I make a motion to let the finance committee approve Article Two. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Article Three authorizes town treasurer with approval select board to enter to open up bank accounts. Compensating balance agreements with banking institutions. We make a motion. We approve Article 3. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Article 4. Vote to apply for, accept, and expend any federal, state, or private grant monies on behalf of the town. Authorize the treasurer with approval of the select board to borrow in anticipation of reimbursement. We make a motion. We approve Article 4. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Article 5. Article 5. I've had a request to amend one of these. This is Article 5 to see if the town will vote to establish spending limits for the town's revolving funds as established by the town's general bylaws. Um, I have a recommendation from the, the treasurer that the public hearing revolving fund, yep. which is where um, fees for advertising and the recorder for the planning board, zoning board, zoning board, you name it, uh, are, are put into and paid out of that that be increased to $4,000. Is she anticipating problems? Um, I think we're getting really close to the 2500 with oh, okay. all the activity that's taking place with. Right. I make a motion we approve points. Article 5 with the change in the public hearing Second. involving fund. All in favor? Aye. Aye. <clears throat> six. Article 6, to see if the town will vote to fix the salaries or compensation of the elected officers of the town, fiscal year beginning July 1st, 2019. Make that's a motion we approve it. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Article 7, this is the enterprise fund, which we just did. Yep. Article 8 is the operating budget. Um, we did that. Did that. Um, so Article 9 would be to uh, reduce the tax levy by $200,000 from free cash, FY18 free cash. Okay. I make a motion. motion. We approve it. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. So one thing I want to know is if we want to do any other transfers, um, we should talk about that after. Yes. Let's we'll just get through this. And talk yeah, about let's that. get through this. <clears throat> so Article 10 starts the capital project um, request. Article 10, see if the town will vote to transfer the sum of $7,500 for the new wood oil furnace at the highway garage. Yes. I make a motion we approve it. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. 
Um, Article 11, see if the town will vote to transfer the sum of $35,000 from available funds to pay for the design of handicap accessibility improvements at the S. White Dickinson Memorial Library. I make a motion we approve it. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 12, to see if the town will vote to transfer the sum of $8,000 to pay for the purchase of new tires for the front loader. Make a motion we approve it. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. <clears throat> Article 13, to see if the town will vote to transfer the sum of $10,000 from the vehicle stabilization fund to pay for the purchase of a used pickup truck used by the highway department. This is the water department truck, the old, the yep. old one. I make a motion we approve it. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. <clears throat> 14, um, transfer the sum of $20,000 from the Water Department Enterprise Fund retained earnings for the purchase of a new pickup truck. I make, make a motion, motion to accept. Accept. Yeah. A second. All those in favor? Aye. 15, to transfer the sum of $13,750 from available funds to pay for the purchase of fire hose. I make a motion we approve it. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Article 16, to see if the town will vote to transfer the sum of $20,000 from available funds to pay for the installation of new tile flooring and area rugs at the elementary school. I make a motion we approve it. Second. All those in Aye. favor? Aye. Aye. 17. We'll talk about this one. To see if the, t uh, to see if the town will vote to transfer the sum of $31,500 from available funds to pay for the installation of new siding and other exterior repairs at the fire station. Um, it sounds like this one's on hold. Is that what that note came up to that we got? Right here. Yeah. Yep, yeah. so I sent you guys. Um, can we just have a, a brief discussion about that? So I, when John was here last week, I asked him um, to get, instead of having somebody install vinyl siding over the existing metal siding, we'd ask him to get um, quotes or estimates as to what it would take for somebody experienced in metal buildings to right. um, to do the work, and um, we contact. That's an authorized, uh, or it's not authorized, but it's a Butler building, Butler building contractor um, that he got the quote from. Yep. Um, and I got to find it. So that's his number. His number you is guys have the price there, right? 392. Yeah. And what was J.D. Ross's number for uh, enclosure uh, for putting up a false wall? And then that's the one that was listed on the warrant. Yeah. And with the original request was 31,500. Boy, those are darn close, aren't they? Mm. Wow. <laughs> now this person understands that this is prevailing wage and all this, or that's not yeah, our yeah. responsibility. I believe they understand. Yeah, no, it says on here the price includes prevailing wage. Okay, all right. How, um, has anyone gone to look at this thing? Kennedy. Yeah. What do you think? It's bad? It's got, it's getting to the point where what's happening is the insulation is getting wet. So if it isn't taken care of, it's going to be a lot more expensive. Because mm -hmm. it'll get the insulation, sheeting, and the whole works. Right. There okay. are a number of spots that need it, and hopefully it will be better constructed on the lower part to eliminate water sitting there on the concrete. On the concrete. No, the sheets just come right to the concrete, mm -hmm. and they there should was, go past it? Well, the sheet, there should be a, a, a drip edge inside, yeah. right. in the back of it coming out over. Okay. And hopefully. I didn't read the quotes here to see if he included that or not. My only my point for asking this is, do we have time, does the town have time to get more than one bid in from a metal installer? We'll have to, we'll, we'll have to get three It'll bids. It'll have to get bids, yeah. I believe. You have to get These price. cost estimates are just for okay. estimates. Giving us an estimate as to okay. what they might cost. I make a motion we leave the 31500 in there. Don't change it to 31392. Let's leave it 31500. Yep. That's the number that's in there. Just leave it. Yeah. Do I have a second? Second. Yes, sir. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. 18 to see if the town will vote 
uh, transfer the sum of $15,000 from available funds to pay for the installation of new mini split units for heating and cooling at the Whaley Elementary School. I make a motion we approve it. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. 19. 19 and 20. Perhaps to do with the connection of the two water systems. Right. Article 19 is a borrowing authorization. So, uh, see if the town will vote to borrow up to $220,000 for the construction of a pumping station off Chestnut Plain Road to connect the Willie Water Department water system to the Willie Water District water system. To authorize the treasurer with approval of the select board to issue bonds, notes that may be necessary for that purpose. Or any other general special law for a period not to exceed. Um, I'm waiting for an answer from town council for that. This, so this language may change, but the, the issue here is the borrowing authorization. And the plan is, as I understand it from our, our joint meeting, is that um, this loan will be paid back through hookup or tie-in fees that will be paid by um, the new customers mm -hmm. and any difference between um, the amount collected and um, the amount of the, uh, of the loan um, will be paid for through the retained earnings of the enterprise funds. That's my understanding. That, that's what I thought we left here with. Okay. Yep. Okay. Needs two-thirds vote on the town meeting for it? Yep. That okay. authorization needs okay. two-thirds vote. Okay. Okay. Okay, do we have a motion? I make a motion. We approve it. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 We're going to spend another 87000 to... Argue. Sorry, just asking the agreement or the whether the select board agreed to <clears throat> will mean that the town will not be paying hookup fees for its buildings in exchange for providing providing for the in-kind services. Right. Yeah. Yep, that's the plan. Okay. Article twenty. Um Article twenty. To see if the town will transfer the sum of eighty seven thousand dollars from available funds. Um it, we had talked at least at the last meeting about general stabilization fund to pay for the costs associated with upgrading the to be constructed pumping station um, to provide sufficient water volume and flow for the system to be used by the fire department for fire extinguishment purposes okay i make a motion we approve it second all those in favor aye, aye. 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 So, um <coughs> a lot of articles in this thing um, yeah let's give brian a break fred once you start on the next one and we'll take them in order Brian, if you have any input into any of these, yep. just jump in following the reading of the article. For 20, that's, you want it to come from the General Stabilization Fund? That's how it was proposed at the meeting? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Now, of course, two thirds vote also. Okay, Article 21, see if the town will vote to transfer the sum of $20,000 from available free cash, presuming for available fund presuming free cash, for the weekly 250th anniversary celebration. Make a motion we approve it. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Uh, see if the Article 22, see if the town transfer the sum of $4,800 from available funds, free cash to pay for the health insurance plan change reimbursement required by General Law C-32B. Make a motion we approve it. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Article 23, to see if the town will transfer the sum of $5,000 from available funds, free cash to pay for the design and engineering sidewalks along Chestnut Plain Road. This is a new one, isn't it? Yeah, Th these last two, well, number 22 is new. Um, but we're talking about 23, so. Yeah, right. Um, so, it so we have the complete streets grant of $210,000 through the sidewalks. And we were gonna use chapter 90 funds to hire um, an engineer who um, <clears throat> it's retired and uh, has a small consulting business. Um, and she has done work in Sunderland and she currently does some work for the city of Northampton. She was gonna do the design work for us. And it turns out that if we're going to spend state funds, so chapter 90 money, um, the engineer needs to be pre-qualified by MassDOT. Um, so we really have two choices. One is we could spend town funds um, and hire the hire this engineer that that we wanted to hire um, for just under five thousand dollars, or we could hire, or we have to hire one of the larger engineering firms, 
I, I think Pine Bond or Weston Sampson or somebody like that at a significantly greater cost, but using Chapter 90 funds. Um, so, so this is a basically a no-brainer. That's what the recommendation from the select board was to use the free cash. Can I make a motion to approve it? Funds. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Tommy, why don't you give the credit for it? Article 24, to see if the town will vote pursuant to the provisions of General Law 71, blah, 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 to approve an authorized debt in the amount of $1,826,664,000. As voted by the Frontier Regional School District Committee on April 4th, 2019, to pay the cost of the Frontier Regional District Capital Improvement Program, including the payment of $630,000 to pay costs and design and construction of a new track, including all related oversight, and $1,196,664 to pay the cost of various other capital improvements including HVAC, blah, 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 blah. I thought this wasn't gonna come up. Or word, this is just a housekeeping thing. So, um, what needs to be, what's, Frontier is asking each town to approve the authorization <coughs> of debt under Chapter 7116D. This will allow Frontier um, to go out and do the actual borrowing, to know the interest rate, to know the term. So there's actually no capital assessment that's gonna happen this year. Okay. So we don't need to... We don't need to... We don't need to appropriate any money. Any money for this, yeah. But we're saying that we we're gonna to be good for it. it. And we don't need to approve it either, but... Right. Um, if we approve it, we're saying that we're... Committed. Committed to paying for it. Um, if we don't approve it, we're committed. If we disapprove it, then we're out. If you just let it roll, I think. If, if, if we were not to take a vote on this, the default is that it's approved. We would have to vote to disapprove, disapprove it. Um, and if one town disapproves it, then they have to go back to the drawing board, so to speak. Yeah. But, so this is an authorization. The only question I have is wording, yeah, it's wording on it, that it doesn't, in the article, it doesn't specifically say it's an authorization of debt on the part of Frontier Regional School District. It says as voted by. Yep. But it doesn't specifically say that it's their debt. I'll, 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 I'll make sure to check with legal counsel to make sure that that it's clear. Yeah. I don't know that we have a choice. I don't think you, you, you have a choice. Well, you yeah. can say no, except, you know, we. Um, we had a pretty good discussion about this whole process, and I think at the time we very much agreed that um, the burden on weight weight is comparatively small. It is small. It's something you have to make a stand. Everybody well, else. Well, you do, even but though they never did that for us. But it, it allows access uh, for our uh, students um, at a relatively and 20% 20, 20 of school choice students also. True, true. Well, that's the law of the land. What are you going to do? You're going to Disapp fight that? Disapprove it. So is someone prepared to, when the question comes up, what is Waitley's cut of this? Yeah, we have 30 money. grand, I think. It's, depending on the year, on the interest rate, what they've estimated so far is a high of 26,000 and a low of something like 22,000. Yep. And it picks up, but yeah, we have the sheet. I have the sheet. In so, from our standpoint, it's a, it's a, yeah, we should vote for it. Deerfield is the biggie, and they're going for a, a debt exclusion, which means ballot vote. If you don't, if we, if this is not done, you run the risk of losing and losing students, students yeah. and paying far more on the other side, yeah, uh, plus having to do this anyway. <laughs> You're, you need someone that I'm has a broad view. You're a micromanager. No. So, no, I mean, you got a good point, but look, you know, we, we did go through this. From a business standpoint, it's a we should approve Absolutely. Yeah. 
I make a motion we approve it. I'll second. I'll second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 And as a reminder, about a third of this is probably is most likely CPA eligible. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <coughs> so the cost to the yeah. town would be some in the range. Article of 25. Five. See if the town. Uh, this is about the community preservation. Uh, yeah, CPA approve CPA their CPA. budget. Okay. Okay. And then. Twenty uh, seventy-five hundred of it is uh, revenue administrative expenses. The dollar amounts are there. Okay. Um, debt service forty-three thousand for the town hall. Yeah. Yeah. Um, budget reserve sixty-one three. Affordable housing reserve nineteen. <coughs> space nineteen. Any questions? Make so my guess would be CPA money should be going up. It should be going up. The amount we take in goes up. And so should the amount you get from the state. Should be going up also. I would hope so. <laughs> keep, keep your fingers. I just don't. I just don't have a handle on what where they're at. Okay. If these probably relate to last year. If which one? Any of them. I don't know how they relate to last year because our our amount should be going up. Why do you think it should be going up? Because you're taking in more. Yeah, but the state's not giving. I don't know what our. Did something happen to this program in the state? Yeah. The state kicked back more we, money. We've been pretty fortunate, but I don't know where it was projected. They got more money than they thought they would last year. Because there was a supplemental. There was a supplemental payment, but that was the amount that they put towards the. the yeah, that's thousand just went towards the town hall. Right. Town hall debt. Yeah. Any issues? Any questions? Make a motion to accept the article 25. Second. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Article 26. See if the town will vote pursuant to general law chapter 44B to appropriate and transfer the sum of $4,500 from the community preservation fund unreserved fund balance for the restoration of the circa 1938 advertising backdrop curtain owned by the way the historical society and it's mounting on the town hall stage or take any other action relative there too. This is not something we've had a chance to discuss. No. Um, what are they going to do? How are they going to restore it? I assume send it to a I'm gonna, gonna guess fabric a restoration. Curtain restore. I'm guessing it's a big iron rod in the, on the stage. I didn't even know that there was one there, but okay. Um, not that I maybe we'll go to a rug place and they'll so it do you know anything about this Brian no I don't know the exact specifics of it's a curtain that's going to be heavy of how it would be stored unless it's the kind of close no it's rolled up on a on an iron bar we got a piece of galvanized cool uh, down spot it looks like is it down it's, it's a, a big, down? He big heavy backdrop is it down right now yeah, it's at the, oh, it's so in it's the center, center school. So when, when they roll it down, it won't come apart. Yeah, it's already rolled up. So it's uh, it's, it's an advertising backdrop. What is it? Cool. Yeah. Uh, I haven't Have seen, you seen it. it. Well, I probably did as a kid, but I'm, I'm just guessing it's from the 30s or 40s and people, like the ball fields. You know, yeah, right, they, right. The same yeah. idea. That, yeah. I don't think it's a bad number. Well, you know, for that, yeah. I mean, for that something, kind of restoration something you'll see all the time, and then we'll, we'll add to the. Um, anybody have any thoughts they'd like to? Do I have a motion? I make a motion. We accept it. All those in favor? Aye. Uh, Aye. Article 27. This one I'm not. To so see much. if the town will vote pursuant to General Law Chapter 44B to appropriate and transfer the sum of ten thousand three hundred dollars from the Community Preservation Fund and Reserve Fund balance. For the professional restoration of the circa 1891 historic town safe now located in the west entrance of the town hall or take any other action relative there too it's been recommended by the select board no those are those are place oh those just play place yeah. to take that back it's not it messes up my formatting if i take these okay off. um discussion <laughs> it's, not, it's not efficient why are we restoring this right we have a brand new safe right here it's it's a piece of art. Ten thousand three hundred dollars worth. The cemetery on Christian Lane is a piece that's of art. Yeah. That's gold paint. <laughs> gold leaf. 
my understanding is that is that it would be used as a it would my understanding is that it would not be used as a safe to bully prop <laughs> or I don't think this is a good way to spend our money but this is a good way to spend money when you have plenty of it yeah but this is a bad precedent <laughs> yeah. you know I mean from my perspective you know I, I think we've met them met the historical um, yeah societies society committees with the forty five hundred dollars um, you know I think the ten three which is you know would add up to now fourteen eight which you're looking at fifteen thousand dollars for uh, and the gravestones are still falling over the yeah are like still falling over. My vote would be no. I think it should be looked into more. I, my yeah. vote would be, would be don't recommend this. Yeah. It's not, it's How's like that? A capital thing. What? Yeah. Well, it's it uh, it would be, except I don't think it falls under the capital because <clears throat> monies are coming from the uh, CPA. Yeah. Capital. This may get overridden on town meeting floor anyway, so could it, it, so it will go to town meeting. I make a motion the finance committee doesn't approve it. Do I have a second or second it. do we have a discussion or another it. motion? Do we have a second? I'll second it. All those in favor of not recommending this article? Aye. 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 <clears throat> All right, 28 is just that's has nothing to do with us. What is that? Uh, the end of Poplar Hill Road is, they're changing some things around. Or when the county discontinued the road, it discontinued it 300 feet closer to Conway Road than it had originally intended, I think. Yeah. Um, so this is relaying out the street. Mm. Yeah. By, by about 300 feet. That is not us. Okay, um, Article 29. This so, to do with uh, the birth? I could talk about this one. Article. Sure. Article 29. Um, it was brought to my attention at, uh, I guess, an awkward time because um, the Board of Assessors are going to talk about it in about eight minutes. Um, so this was this was a request of the assistant assessor. It's going to be talked about by the board of assessors. But general law chapter fifty nine section five fifty four is a local option statute where a town can establish an exemption from taxation personal property accounts with an assessed value of less than five thousand dollars. So what kind of personal property? What kind of were they looking at? Businesses. Um, yep, it would be businesses. Um, currently, she gave me some information. Um, there are 16 personal prop. So, in all, there are 62 personal property accounts in the town, with a value of just almost five and a half million dollars, and we collect um, 84,587 dollars in taxes. Out of those 62 accounts, there are 16 accounts with values of less than five thousand dollars, with a total value of thirty-one thousand nine hundred four dollars. So, and how much does somebody with five thousand or less pay? Um, more or less. Uh, five times fifty. Well, if we were at, yep, if we were at five. Seventy-five. So out of those accounts, out of those sixteen accounts with, with less than the five thousand dollars, she calculated that we collect four hundred ninety-five dollars in taxes from those sixteen accounts. So when they say personal property accounts, yeah, what what meets that? Anything not attached to the land, essentially. Cash registers, refrigerators, um, and it's typical. And most of these are Shelves. typically um, DBAs, um, because if you're a corporation, as we found out with Covestro and Bear, they pay their personal property taxes to the state. So if you're incorporated, you pay Me too. you pay it to the state. Um, so most of these are either um, unincorporated businesses, so individuals with DBAs, um, 
that's so basically okay. what you're saying is we're going to lose about four hundred and fifty dollars worth of income well, yeah. every year instead of going through that. instead of going through the all the hassles you have to go through right, right. and okay. that's that's I'm in favor I guess I'm thinking the, the this vote would be conditional on the board of assessors there's a form you're supposed to fill out right yeah. make sure nobody ever fills it out no. but this doesn't require us to vote. No. it doesn't well I gonna lose revenue that's if all. you yeah. so if you want to make a recommendation you would be free to do so if not I could I make a make, I make a motion we approve it. This is just a housekeeping thing. It is. It's a more or less. We spend a lot of time collecting four hundred and fifty bucks. And assessing it. Right. Today. Yeah. Today it's four hundred and fifty bucks. Well, what happens? Now this law go, now this goes on to the books and we accept it. Well assess so value eight. over five thousand. That's the that's the number. Yeah. Yeah, and that thirty dollars per year per account. You, you know, there's a wise old man who said, "If you count your pennies, the dollars will take care of themselves." <laughs> he said he's, he was an older he was an older gentleman. He got electrocuted, didn't he? Yeah, he did. But he also said that um, beer is proof that God loves us. That's right. I've seen that somewhere. Of he the, said that too. The brewmasters, I think. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, okay, do we have a? I make a motion we approve it. I'll second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. All righty. Article 30, that's that's the 10 year recycling contract, with the optional 15 year. Uh, Fran was talking about it when he was here about. Yep. Um, we need to have a place to bring our recyclables. All right, so Get out that's it. Nothing, is, nothing okay, we have to make do. a motion we approve it. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. And the rest are zoning and changes. The rest is zoning. Zoning. And you could act on Article 35, the resolution that support a change in the state flag and seal of Massachusetts. Uh, no. Which I'm sure you probably don't want to do. Not interested. No, 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 no. All right. No, no. Next. Um, okay. So that's pretty much all the articles, unless we want to do any transfers between funds. Um, All right. It depends if you want to do any transfers. <laughs> With everything we've done, how much is left in free cash? Um, so on the capital plan sheet here, it looks like there'll be just over 300000 uh, Where am I going to find that? It's... Um, well, well, I think it's the fourth page on the it, on the capital on the capital plan. Yeah, we have these small ones. Okay. I know it's here. I know it is too. Here it is. Look at this. Worksheet number three. Drilled and everything. Worksheet number three. Yeah. For some reason, they don't print out well. Okay, so you're saying there's a $312,000 carryover. Yep, that's what it would be. That's the estimate as to what it would be. And if you go across here, that's, so free cash, keep, um, <coughs> this fourth one over is the enterprise fund retained earnings, that's what they have, general stabilization, capital stabilization, vehicle stabilization. So those are the amounts that we have in the accounts. I mean, in terms of the vehicle stabilization. How much did we put in vehicle stabilization this year? Nothing. Nothing? No, we put That's 10. 10. Okay. Um, what do we have coming up? Um, it's nothing because we took 10 out. That's what you're thinking. Yeah, probably. I mean, it looks like the next vehicle that that's scheduled and I'm looking up. This is worksheet number five, vehicles and equipment. Um, unless we get surprises, which we don't like. Um, uh, looks like the highway department, new dump truck and plow for the replace the F550. 
we purchased it if we were to borrow, but you'd be looking to purchase it in FY 2023. Um, and a tractor. And a tractor would be FY 2024. We've got a cruiser in 2020. There's a new cruiser earmark. Earmark's a bad word. Huh. It is word. But because we want a plan like this is how we want. Okay. This is how we want the plan to show as to what we think we need. Okay. Um, but that new truck would be around ninety thousand. It's looking like for the highway department. So is the goal to purchase that entire vehicle from the vehicle stabilization, or no? Or we borrow and depends on where you're at. We have the payments. Yeah, depends, depends on where you're at. Three years. And where we're at could depend on transfers we make today in terms of the vehicle stabilization account or in the next couple of years. Well, my gut feeling is let's take 100000 out of what's out of the 312 and do something with it. Put some of it in each of the three, you know, put some in vehicle, some in capital, some in general, or any way you want to do it. I think your vehicle, in my opinion, your transfer was low. That'll give us a pretty good cushion, and that'll give us 212000 in free cash, to, which is a little excessive, probably, but well, it's, as long as they're not going to take it away from us, it's, it's a bank account. Yeah. It's a, uh, right. my feeling. A nice uh, I don't think that, well, look, historically, when we look at these accounts, we get very little guidance no. as to what is considered the norm, what is considered um, usual and customary for a given total expense, total budget. So, Brian, um, we can't just be throwing these numbers around. I want to put this here, I want to put that one. I mean, it's, it's fine, we can do it, but is, is, isn't there some, aren't there some metrics out there that, that say, you know, if you're spending this amount, if your town is worth this kind of money, yeah. then your savings should be somewhere in this percentage range, <clears throat> which is what these accounts are. So that's what, yep. that's, that's, that's the kind of guidance that I think we deserve to at least be able to reference before we make any kind of move in putting money in any of these accounts. It's what's, what some communities will do, and I think we touched on this a little bit, yeah. is they'll, they'll take their free cash and they'll, and they'll say X amount's going here, X amount's <coughs> going, you know, X amount's going to, <coughs> and just divide it up based on mm -hmm. Um, the total amount or whatever they feel is is necessary um, which is what we do That's right what, but there, so there's an established there, so there's a, a written established policy that says you know 33 percent goes to here 33 percent goes here and 33 percent you know stays in the account something like that um, I, I want to I want to say general state I don't think you can have too, well, I think you can have too much money in your general stabilization. Yeah. Um, I don't think we have too much money in our general stabilization. Um, um, and I want to say- And we're taking it down by 87,000. And we're taking it down by 87,000. Yeah. Um, so start. Mm -hmm. So it's going to bring us down to 276. I want to say, if, in, I'll need, to, I'll need to, to check on this, um, <clears throat> but I thought I said the target somewhere between 5 and 10% of your Five ten percent of your budget is where general stabilization should be. Um, <coughs> but we can find out if we don't transfer anything, it stays in free cash and no, it doesn't yeah. go anywhere. Yeah. So um, if there's any kind of guidance from the state, there's there's in one way or in, you know around this to yeah. give us some to give us a platform for having some assurance that that this is the right thing to do. Yeah. Yeah, because. He might think it's the right thing to do. He thinks it, and 
maybe he doesn't, maybe he'd like a little less, maybe I don't. Yeah. Because all of a sudden we're all, you know, throwing around wishes. Yep. Um, well, the, the, my only other comment would be whatever we don't, even if we don't do anything with what's left in free cash, it's not going to go away. Right. No, it doesn't. And it's not like we're making 5% interest on money we put in the bank. No, that's what's so. Sure. You know, I mean, if you don't, if, if you feel that we don't, shouldn't do any, and I don't feel this way, I think we should do something with it. I you need too. to earmark a, an amount of it right. I to agree. go somewhere. I agree. But then again, I think somewhere, somehow, there is guidance as to how much you should keep in there. That's all. You know, and, and all 20 years ago, we used to like to keep 100 or 150,000 in there. Right. But, I mean, yeah. if we're a long ways away from that now, no so question. I'm just throwing numbers out there. That's all. And so we're at about five percent. So and, and that's what it is. We're all yeah, throwing that's right. numbers. We're just, so if you could get, we together. never had any guidance. We just adding the three funds together. Or? Oh no, not in, in your general stabilization. Oh, I mean capital stabilization. I'm I'm not sure you could ever have enough money in capital stabilization. Yeah. Um, in vehicle stabilization, that, that, that amount really depends on, on what you project your vehicle expenses. And how you're going to pay for new vehicles. Right. Um, and then general stabilization, I mean, that's typically your rainy day fund. Um, you know, so. If there is no, if there are no parameters on this, then fine, then we'll have a discussion then, you know, on how we how we see this money going. Yeah. Well, we have vehicle maintenance. You should already be talking about building maintenance. Yeah. True Whether enough. it's a little amount or. True enough. Yeah. Um, so we don't, we don't need, we don't have to do anything with it today because um, it's not going to go anywhere. It's not going to go anywhere. And if we go to town meeting with the 312 still in there, do we have to, we would have to have another town meeting to do any kind of transfers out of it. Yeah. Regardless, if if we if we move it into if we move ten thousand just to move it into if we move it into vehicle stabilization, are we still yeah got to have a town meeting. We got to have a town meeting to take it out. We could do it when we're having a town meeting for something else. But we could do it yeah. at any, any point, yeah. Yeah, all right. Yeah. So you want to let it sit? I would let it sit. And I'll, I'll try to see because if Because if you can come back and say to us, there's really nothing out there. You just, you know, you got to do what you think's best. I then think then we then I'm we fine. I'm fine with it. that. I mean, but. Yeah. I think there's some, some generic guidance from DLS. Okay. But we'll double check. Okay. And each, and each town is going to. And we can also look to see what other towns do because you're gonna you're gonna get you know 300 different answers that's if you right. look at each town. No but but I, I think that's but general we stabilization. We we've made a specific attempt to keep the vehicle stabilization account yeah. pumped up. So I think mm -hmm. I would think I would want to move earmark something out of here for that, even if we're not doing general stabilization. Just because we just to continue. Just to just so that it's there and we don't have to just, you know, remember next that. year, oh, we didn't I'm do anything last that. year. And what did, what did we do? Was that five or no? Well, we took 10 out, so we ought to at least put 10 back in. Well, last year, I think, was a... I thought we put more in. Last we year. put more in because we were taking money out. Well, we're taking money out this year, too. Yeah. Um, Sorry about that. Yeah, maybe we bought the cruiser and didn't touch the vehicle stabilization. No, I think we took it out of free cash, didn't we? Yeah. Um, I'd have to go. I'd have to go look it up. Um, if you want me to. Nah.
I there was some. I think I, we took ten out. Let's put. There we'll was some money. Anyway. I was, uh, that was. I was going to say put twenty. To, uh, that's fine. Ten to cover what we're taking out, and ten. I'm fine with that to pump that up. I don't have a problem with that. But. Fine. Okay. I'll do with the move. We recommend moving twenty thousand dollars from free cash to the vehicle stabilization fund. I'll second it. All in favor? Aye. 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 And the rest of it will let it sit for now. And in the future, we will dis discuss at our, at our next next meeting, which we can have whenever, which we should actually talk about probably now, um, as to whether we want to uh, start our meetings earlier in the fall, um, whether we need to take a look at um, how budgets are being utilized as the year goes on. Um, and just general expenses, how how the town is, how the departments in town are utilizing monies appropriated to them. Do you think that's appropriate? Is there anything happening with the Franklin County consultant who would that in? I don't. I have um, the sample policies. That he yeah. provided with us, that he provided yeah. to us, um, and one of the documents that's in the budget projections, the the proposition two and a half documents, is from him. Okay. Um, I have a question, a tax question. <clears throat> so we collect, just say, we're assessed at five million to collect for the fiscal year. What percentage don't we collect? I could. I know you could. Find you out. I could find out the answer for you. I'm not sure what our. We're collecting the more. Would it be? Would we be up here, or are we, you know, jumping all the time? You mean people that aren't paying? Or if they're paying late, you know? Yeah. yeah. Are we at a 75 percent, 90 percent, 98? We the town? Yeah, I'd say we're at 90 percent collection. I mean, my guess. Lynn told us that's the last time. Sooner or later, you got to pay, or the town takes your property. So. Well, I think what some are doing, and actually, it's kind of an interesting thought. But if you own the house, and you don't have any retirement, and so now you just bank it out of your house. Your reverse mortgage or whatever they. Yeah, call but that. all on your own. You know, so you owe the town twenty grand when you die. They'll take, take it. it out of your house. You know? Right. Yeah. I yeah. suspect that's what we're running into. With you. That could be. population. Yeah. Um, I've been thinking about it. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll watch your account. So uh, we'll be quick to take your house. Brian, anything else? I hope not. Because you guys are about out the door, so. Well, we I'm could, SOL once you guys leave. So. Well, we could have another meeting. Um, of course, it wouldn't probably be in time to change anything on the warrant or anything like that. But uh, no, the slack put will sign tomorrow. If you, if, if we follow the uh, the guidance of that um, individual from Furcog from the eastern part of the state, you know, in his writings, he says that the finance committee should be involved with all financial transactions in town um, at some level. So, you know, we do the budget, we talk about things during budget season, but then after budget season, it drops off. I agree. Uh, I think we should, I hate to even think about it, but I think we should meet once during the summer. We should be end okay. of year. Uh, end of fiscal year. Yeah, we, we will probably have to do some transfers and stuff anyway, but. Uh, yeah, we usually, we usually have a couple meet, of meetings anyway. Yeah. For transfers. Yeah, so right. I mean, we're, we meet at least during the summer, but yeah, as it gets closer to that time, we should we should work together to figure out what yeah what's going to be on that agenda yeah. and yeah. what what that's going to look like. So we're we're all in general agreement that at least we'll be meeting sometime during the summer. Yeah. Okay. All right. <coughs> and they have the okay. school negotiations finished. By that's right. Yeah. Yeah. And one of one of the things that will be interesting okay. will be whether the uh, 
the establishment at the Sugar Loaf Shops opens, yes. and what kind of local revenue we can anticipate. Right. Um, right. Yeah. Because that that estimate of local revenue is is submitted in fall time. So um, that would be great. If we have an idea as to what that revenue might be, if it materializes, then right. Okay. It could help pay for things. Second it. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Aye.